This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. Out of the hundreds of tutorials that we've created right here on Sunduck Film, we have never used the lightning effect instead of after effects. So in this video today, we're going to use the lightning effect to work with our motion graphics and titles. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So in my free time, I play a little bit of Apex Legends and they have a new trailer out and I received this idea from that trailer where there was lightning on the text and I'm like that was really cool, very well executed and I wanted to create that here on the channel. So this is where that, that idea comes from. So this is a very specific effect if you want to add some style to your motion graphics. Of course, there's a handful of different things you can do with it, but let's go ahead and create some awesome lightning and let's do it right now, jump into the tutorial. All right, we have After Effects ready to go and let's create some awesome lightning. All right, so here we are in our tutorial composition and in order to create lightning, the first thing we need to do is go to layer, new, solid. I'll call it lightning one and we'll click okay. Then we'll go up to effect, generate, and we're gonna add the advanced lightning effect. Now we're rocking, that's awesome. So looking at this effect, there's two anchor points here. You got a point right here and you have a point over here. And this is gonna give us the control we want over our lightning. So what we're going to do is take our first point and put it at somewhere, you know, on our title here. And this is called the origin. Then we can grab our second point, which is our direction. And this is going to be where our lightning is going to be, you know, obviously pointed at. So, you know, we can put this right here. That's fine. Now we need to just fine tune this and control how this works. So here's all the parameters here in the effects controls. And the first thing we want to do is go to lightning type and it's right now set to direction so it's just going to go on repeatedly but if we set this to strike it'll just go right to the second point so we know where it's going to end so if we scrub through so we scrub through here you'll see that there's no animation or a lightning so what we'll need to do is come here to the beginning of our timeline and add a keyframe for conductivity state and then we'll go to the end of our animation we'll just say five seconds we'll just increase this by a little bit maybe to go to eight so now we have a little bit of animation on our lightning and that's cool and we come here to like say forking and we can increase that if you want to have more lightning coming out of that you can decrease it if you just want one string of lightning and just having a little bit in there is actually not a bad thing and if we want to change the colors of our lightning we come here to the core settings and you can change the color of the core if you don't want it at white i think white is probably the, makes the most sense uh, you go to the glow settings and we can change this from a blue to another type of color maybe we'll do like a light blue and you can easily just change that glow color however you see fit. So let's go ahead and animate this properly. So what we need to do is come here to the beginning of our timeline and add a keyframe for direction. We'll just hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. As we move this direction keyframe forward a little bit, maybe just by like seriously like a frame or two. Then grab the anchor point for the direction and we're going to line that over the origin. Now we come here, boom, it just strikes on. That was great. Then we'll come here to the end, so we'll say like 4 seconds is when really when we want to start animating this off. What we can do is add a keyframe for origin, and we'll move forward just by frame or two, and grab that origin anchor point and put it on top of the direction anchor point. Now boom, it comes on, and goes away. Awesome. So it's coming together, but we need to add a few more things to this just to make this stand out a little bit more. So one thing I like to do is go to Effect Stylize Glow. And this will make it glow a little bit more. Bring the glow threshold all the way down to 0%. And let's increase the glow radius to like 120. Increase the intensity maybe to 2. And I'll set the uh, glow, glow operation to screen. And that just adds like a little bit more glow to this. And maybe we'll actually increase the glow radius by a little bit more. It's like maybe 200. Yeah, cool. And that makes it stand out a little bit more. Now one thing I want to do is add like a glow effect to the beginning here. Before we jump further into our video, I want to talk about Envato Elements. You know what I dislike as a content producer? Having to spend hundreds of dollars a month to purchase stock footage, music for my videos, After Effects templates, and graphic design templates for my business. With Envato Elements, I can save a ton of money for my business by spending only $16.50 a month where I can download unlimited music, After Effects templates, stock footage, and so much more for my business needs. If you want to learn how you can save countless time and money, be sure to check our links in the video description, which will take you over to Envato Elements. So typically I want to add like a, a small like little lens flare to this, but I would usually use like a third party plugin to do this, but because I want to avoid using plugins, uh, we're going to use a basic lens flare effect in here and modify it. So we'll go up to layer new solid again, and we'll call this one flare. Then we'll go up to effect generate, and we're going to grab the lens flare effect. Then we'll come here to lens type and we'll set this to 105 prime. 
awesome and we can bring down the flare brightness maybe to like 20 percent or so it'd be 30 and then let's all click the stopwatch for flare brightness and we'll type in the expression the most common expression wiggle open parenthesis five comma do like 20 and close parenthesis and now we have a little bit of a flicker going on here cool so now what we'll do is we'll grab our flare layer and we'll go to layer pre-compose and we we'll call it lens flare one and move all attributes into new comp so, and then we'll come here to the top and we'll grab the ellipse tool and simply all we want to do is draw out a mask around our you know lens flare here so so we'll click a point hold down shift and control on our keyboard to do this from the center and now you have this perfectly in the center and then just hit F on your keyboard to bring up the mass feather. We'll feather this out and then let's toggle switch the modes until you see the blend mode and I'll set this from normal to screen. And we'll put this right on top of our, right where our lightning starts. And then we'll go to like effect color correction and we'll grab tint and we'll change the white to that nice, you know, light blue, the color palette that we're using. Nice. And then I'll also go to our lightning layer, copy the glow and paste it onto our lens flare. And we'll bring up the glow threshold to maybe like 30-ish percent. So now we have our lens flare and our lightning effect. Now, of course you wanna animate the lens flare on, so just hit T on your keyboard for opacity. And let's come here to the beginning, set the opacity to 0%, add a keyframe for it, move forward by a frame, add it to 100%, and then just go to the last keyframes for your lightning. And we'll wanna animate the opacity off, so go from 100 to 0%, boom. All right, so now we're pretty much set up for success and now we can start duplicating these effects and moving them around and, you know, bringing them onto other parts of our titles. And now you should be able to easily duplicate your lightning and move it around your composition wherever you see fit for it. And of course, the particles and lens flare that I put on here are just for extra elements. And you can grab these elements from one of my favorite packs called Cine Punch, which has over 9,000 assets for After Effects and Premiere and any other video editor that you use. It has a lot of creative assets from lens flares to particles to tons of effects to lookup tables and so much more. If you want to check out Cine Punch and see how you can quickly enhance your After Effects compositions, you can check our links in the description. So now you should have a new technique in your After Effects arsenal, working with lightning, really awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.